Lake Winnipeg has to be monitored every year, spring, summer, and fall, just like you go to the doctor. This is one of the great lakes of the world, but one of the least studied lakes of the world. Every lake will naturally get nutrient rich with time, but cultural eutrophication means it's becoming more nutrient rich as a result of human activities in its massive drainage basin. And that's been going on for many, many years now. Uh, the visual manifestation are large algal blooms, particularly in the north basin of the lake, uh, and they can cause all sorts of problems, and that's the issue we have today. And that's what spawned the idea of forming this Lake Winnipeg Research Consortium. The consortium, a partnership, includes today First Nations, cottage owners, rural municipalities, fishers, uh, a whole bunch of others. So we have about 30 uh, members, if you will, of, of the consortium. The two levels of government have a mandated responsibility to, to fund us, so they are major contributors. But the largest contributor, and perhaps the most essential one, is Manitoba Hydro. Early on, when we formed the consortium, they agreed to pay every year one-third of our entire operational cost, and they've done that. And had they not done that, we wouldn't be here today. Protecting the environment is an integral part of Manitoba Hydro operations and we contributed to a number of research initiatives so that we can be proactive in protecting our waterways. We know that the primary issue is phosphorus that's driving the production of these massive algal blooms. Uh, we know it comes from the watershed. We know it comes from 6.6 .6 million people who live in, in the watershed. And in order to deal with that, they have to know and understand what's going on. It's a large and dangerous body of water, and you can't really go out there safely and effectively on a regular basis to do that. Well, the Nemeo had proved as a Coast Guard vessel for many years to be able to handle the worst weather it was the ideal solution to opening the door, if you will, to get researchers to come and address the problem. Manitoba Hydro is really proud to support the Lake Winnipeg Research Consortium. We sit on the board of directors and we provide operational funding to the Nemeo research vessel. The Nemeo has been used to collect scientific information on the lake for over 20 years and helps researchers access information on water quality, algal blooms, erosion, emerging issues like aquatic invasive species like zebra mussels, and information on the fish communities in the lake. We've learned a tremendous amount about Lake Winnipeg since we started. For instance, the zebra mussels didn't show up until a few years ago, so we have excellent baseline data on what the lake looked like before they came. So we're going to track them to see if there are any changes that might be associated with them. Manitoba Hydro provides a lot of support to care for Lake Winnipeg and really contributes a lot to several scientific and educational initiatives. And this is really important because we want to have really good, sound, independent, collaborative science where everyone understands what's happening in the lake and we can take that information and really help to protect the lake and, and move forward. The work that we've done at least shows us that the concentration of phosphorus, which peaked in 2010, hasn't peaked again. So we have the opportunity to continue to do our work on the lake to make sure that the right things are being done and the lake is in fact getting better.